Hey everybody, welcome to episode 13 of Xeno Gears. Let's see, I took a little extra time between the last episode and this one to do a little bit of leveling, not to get not to get levels up or anything, but to get skills up. So Satan was already good to go, but now Rico is. So we've got the three next uh, death blows for him, which is going to go a long way towards survivability in this next area here. I don't think we're going to have many problems, but it's always possible. So let's jump down the ladder here and go to the second level of the sewers, where something is immediately happening. We're like right on this thing's heels, because that's the ladder we come down. Whew. What is that? I heard a tinkle. Actually, I think that... Oh, yeah, he does say a tinkle sound. He's so excited about tinkling. Apparently that's what bells sound like on the PlayStation. Taking a drink of water. <clears throat> so clearly something's going on. Let's see, do I have a map of this area? I do. So I believe this is area two of three of the sewers. Okay, this is gonna suck. I don't know if we had Renken for Satan in the last one. I think we did. Um... But I will show off all of Rico's death blows here. So this gets to become the Rico death blow in the sewer episode. Oh god! So Satan almost got a second attack or a second uh, turn in there before Rico got his. So there's one of his new death blows. It's pretty good. I don't have anything that can take care of... Oh, that was uh, a mistake. I don't have anything that can take care of that poison right now that's not an item, and I don't want to use items. Damn! Did you see that hit? It's a good thing we have Satan here with his ability to heal everybody. He's not the best healer in the game, but he's... He comes close with how goddamn useful he is. He's the best all-rounder in the game, period. Ah! Oh, you crushed his spine and punched him in the jaw! Actually, Rico's got some pretty... Pretty cool... Oh, wow. So we're just uh, jumping right up in terms of difficulty here. Uh, Rico's got some pretty cool-looking... Death blows. Those fan blades will hurt us. Alright, we want to get over to that other door to get back to the item box. And I definitely want to go to the item box, but we'll do a little more exploration right now. Alright, where are we? We're up by a different door. Oh! Oh! I'm an idiot. Alright. Come on, go up the ladder. Hey, it was that other door. Oh, we need a key. Damn it. What it? What a strange... Oh, did it lock us out? I hope... Oh. Okay, cool. We unlocked that door. God! I suck. Alright. And no murder spot. That is odd. Because so far there's been slime near the murder spots. Alright, we got a gallant belt. Oops, wrong button. I wonder what the gallant belts does. Max hit point 
10% up restore. So you get more hit points when there's rest. Fuck it. You get more hit points from healing. That's interesting. Alright. <clears throat> so hopefully we'll be able to go a little bit better on this one. When you get down to the second level, it becomes... Uh, much more difficult. And that's a problem, because as I discovered while I was uh, leveling, and look at the, the damage difference there. This asshole Rico is incredibly squishy. Power bomb! Yeah! Yeah, he... I don't know why he takes as much damage as he does. It's kind of ridiculous. Hopefully I can... kill this guy before he comes out, because he does... a fair amount of damage. Luckily, these little frog guys, who unfortunately can poison you, luckily they do not... take that much to kill. All right. Yeah. It's basically Leon's suplex from Resident Evil 4. Which is another game I desperately want to do an LP of at some point. Maybe not Resident Evil 4 specifically, but a game like Resident Evil 4, because I feel like those games actually are... That style of game is actually really good for an LP. What is this? It's Gramps! This character is never explained. Never explained. Why are you a mutant? That seems like it should be explained. So he's got a new neighbor fucking shit up. like my new neighbor, would you brutally murder him? I'm old. It's socially acceptable for me to be not socially acceptable and ask for people to be murdered. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh god, look at this thing. So I could never tell what that little nub below his head was. I always thought it was like I don't know, like a reproductive sack or something? I didn't realize it was a stubby little leg and the other one's back there in the shadow of his big, disgusting head. Counterattack on Deathblow? Well, that's, uh... Crap. I'm gonna try this. So basically, you're not allowed to do Deathblows on him. Jesus Christ! These guys hit like... Trucks! The good news is between Faye being OP as shit right now with the 10 extra levels and Rico hitting like a truck also... We shouldn't have any problems. So Faye did 158. How much did Rico do? I don't remember. Doc does nothing. Look at that. 158, 91, and I think Rico did closer to 200. I could be wrong, but I think he did. Oh, that one. Well, all right, we've got another murder spot. There's always slime near the murder scene. Who is they? And how do we know it won't return to the same place? I should probably not be skipping these so quickly. Gold nugget. Hey, there's a door over there. Fuck it. Fuck it! I'm grumpy about numbers. Not really, but whatever. Let's see what's down here. Nothing down here, but on the other side. And I'm gonna have to heal after this fight. Oh, wow! I don't ever actually remember running into these things down here. Sick. 
So, one of the interesting things about this combat system is that, for the most part, there is not a single enemy that can actually evade. There's like one or two enemies in the entire game that can evade uh, death blow in person-on-person -person combat. Oh, I didn't... I meant to heal him. Whatever. Um... And I think that's that's kind of... I mean, it gives you the gimmick, which is get the death blows to use the death blows, but I feel like it's also a missed opportunity because... How crazy would it be if there are more enemies that can evade your most powerful attacks? Okay, I got Mensal. Let us very quickly... You know what? I got enough Omega Souls. I really did not need to do that for Faye, though. That's for damn sure. All right, which way did I come from? I came from the one, so now I can go up this one. Actually, I shouldn't be going this way yet. I know I shouldn't be going this way yet, but whatever. This is a weird, cool little enemy. It's like devil rats. Oh, they're even called bat rats. So they're crossed between a bat and a rat. And they shoot hot fire. The game by itself does 220. Dragon Fist is especially brutal just because he like crushes whatever he's holding. I think that's a cool thing. Yeah. Yep. Oh, God damn it. We're starting to run into, uh... Starting to run into random battle hell here when I'm just trying to get through this, but it's fine. All right, let's increase his attack. He was doing about 150 with all lights. Let's see what Rico does here. Hundred and eighty-three. Okay, that's not terrible. Should probably be switching to all squares though, especially for Satan there. That's better. Wow, he does not do much more damage. That's uh, kind of a crazy difference to see. Normally, Faye and Satan are like pretty close. Is it here? So it's locked. It's locked, you idiot! Stupid orc! Do you hear that? Uh oh. He must have dropped it when he got killed. Maybe even the rats got it. Why did the battler have the sewage treatment key? So now we have to find that key. Yeah! Took a propeller to the face. Damn it. Just not been good with uh, directions here lately. Oh, I went the wrong way again. Zeta Salt DX. So that's the first DX item we get. Um, it's it does the same thing as the Zeta Salt, except it restores full life. That's the best damage we done got out of him yet. <clears throat> 
I feel like that's probably a waste for these shorter fights, but whatever. Oh, he slapped me. So when you start far away like this with some enemies, um, there is a possibility that they won't actually attack you. Uh, the hobgoblins up on the upper level were actually like that. So with Faye, when I was doing it alone, I could take out the two on my side and then just use ethers to kill the ones further away. Alright, where am I doing? What am I going? I gotta go across. I gotta go over here to Gramps. Come on. I gotta get around Gramps. I gotta go to where those things are. So, here we go. This is getting me where we need to go. This is doing it for me. Oh god. One, it didn't want to move. Two, I couldn't jump over it because I was stuck. The interesting thing is that the, uh, the damage difference is negated a bit by uh, the death blow damage. Damn, just poison both of us, huh? Aren't you a tremendous pain in the ass? Oh well. Yeah! You're dead. I should really use other death blows than the one I've been using this entire... episode. Uh, damn, he almost got one shot. There is actually a worry with Rico and before he levels up of getting of him getting one shot. He is not built to take hits despite how he looks. Oh. Eh, that works. Wow, I timed that poorly. Where is it? Okay, there is supposed to be something here. Darn. Okay. Is that where I want to go? Nope, I want to go. I want to go around to the other one over here. The save point's over that way, but that's not what I'm worried about. I want to go down that ladder eventually. Alright, we're going to look at this one here. Go through the door, grab that item, and then come back and go down that ladder. I think that might be where I need to go. So basically, this thing's been going in and out of the sewage treatment plant through these pipes, killing people. Oh look, here's this one. It's going in and out of. Yeah, no shit, you've been hearing it breathing. So there's a drain where all the drains meet. And if I'm not mistaken, that's the one that has the, uh... Night Helm. If I'm not mistaken, the drain where all the drains meet is the one where we're gonna have to go after this thing. Wow. The helmet is as good as a metal vest. So how good is that on Faye? Jesus! It's a hell of a difference. I'm glad I uh, went through this. All right, we've still got to look for that key. Yeah, you're gonna die. I'm gonna kill you with my stand battles. No oldie, buddy, goodie. The experience point difference is wild. Alright, next step, check out that ladder. See where that dumps us out. 
Ow. Great! More random bad to -dos. Yeah, it's fine, actually. I don't know, I don't know whatever. <laughs> Ow! Takes so much damage, man. Rico is not that great when you get him. That's a fair amount of damage, though. Hell yeah. Faye flailing his legs around. Rico's just like, no, nah, I'm, I'm gonna clothesline you. Alright, where do you come out to? Okay, cool. The other end of where... The other end of the other side of the thing. Works for me. I'm not holding my breath, but it would be nice if we somehow got enough levels for Rico to get his next... Rico and Doc to get their next thing, and Doc might actually get close, but... Rico not- Hey! Just as I'm talking about levels, we get levels for everybody. Isn't that nice? Keep on- Yep. Keep on keeping on. that smell again. I like that there's different dialogue for each little section here. Like they're examining each of the things and piecing it together, which is cool. This is, being down in the sewers is slightly annoying, not gonna lie, but I still think it's a great little section. And it's, as part of my favorite part of the game, um, I do still enjoy it very much. Okay. So there's the ladder we came down. I want to come look over here. Oh, nope, that's the way we came. Because there's something very specific I'm looking for. Um, and it's, it's where the key is. Because we need the key to get into that room, yeah? We'll get there eventually, yeah. Nice. I wonder if I can one-shot this thing with a uh, ether yet. I can. Good job, Faye. Faye in the now. Oh, fuck me. Faye in the next level or two should. There it is. Faye in the next level or two should also be getting. Different save point. Wow. Faye in the next level or two should also be getting a new couple of ether abilities. It's a rat sweeper machine. Call them the catless rat removers. That's terrible. I like that Faye is just like, that's terrible. <laughs> it's not Borkin. We're waiting. All right, examine it again. If you didn't examine it again, you would, uh... Yeah, that would be a problem. Good, Vargas is dead. Fuck him. They tried to baptize me in an alley. Hashtag Brazzers. I don't know, shut up. All right, so now... We can access the... Dee 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 dee. <laughs> now we can access the treatment plant. Oh! Oh, geez. Well, I was gonna show you guys uh, Rico's ether abilities, but. Oh, and I used a death blow. Fuck me. But he's asleep now, so, you know. Oh no. He sucked me. 
Brazzers. I'm terrible, I know. I would apologize, but if you've made it 12 and a half-ish hours into my LP, you probably are okay with it. <clears throat> so in which case, I'll say shut up, you're getting what you paid for. Even if you paid not sync. Alright, now I want to get over there and grab that item. And then from there, we can continue on. Almost there. Poison guard. So, an item that stops poison. Might actually be useful down here. Square attack's a good balance between damage and... Damn. Took less damage this time, that's good. Square attack's a good balance between damage and the other thing. So, why not? Yeah! It's that thing we got to use in the one where he used on us. When he punched us for 1200 damage. Something about that thing's eyes make me feel like it's... Like, childlike. Damn, bro! Almost 300 for a couple square hits. That's, uh, pretty legit. Homie. Alright, where am I? Where am I going? Hopefully to the correct door here. Yep. Is this the right door? Yeah, this is the right door. This is where we want to go. We're gonna do it, you guys. Like, oh my god. Hashtag. Hashtag I'm a fucking child. We can go up or down. We can go up. Ow! Hey, we snuck through that one in the loading screen. How a boot that? Get him! Get him! Get him! Kill the bat rat, rat bat! I'm bat rat. Where were the other drugs going? Oh no, he confused me. At least in his confusion, he healed the doc. So that's the first time we've seen the confusion thing, which is just completely random actions. Usually attack or healing actions, but completely random against completely random people. Sometimes they even hit themselves. It's actually really annoying when you're under leveled. And you learn very, very quickly that all of your characters can pretty much one shot all of your other characters. And as you can imagine, that is, uh, a serious problem. Alright, we're almost there. We're going to do it. Hmm. I keep forgetting that these guys don't have the square triangle X attack. Uh-oh. Oh, this is, this is bad. Oh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. The problem is, he's the only one that's not confused. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, are we gonna get our first game over the LP? Nope, no way. Because these guys are still unkillable. Damn it! So here's hoping the next guy actually hits the dock. Wow, Doc, you suck. Oh, this is just an incredible pain in the ass. Fuck this. Alright, let's see. Is he gonna get fucking owned the moment he gets, like, picked up? That would be annoying. Hey, he came back with a fair amount of health, though. That's good. 
The fact that he takes so much damage and he's supposed to be this, like, overpowered character is seriously fucking annoying. Like, overall, even in the endgame, he's just not very good. Especially with his trashy speed, he's not... He's... It is very unlikely he will be... Part of your... Part of your squad at the end of the game. Alright. That bothered and annoyed me. Where are we going? Am I going this way? I am going this way. Woo! Made it through. Jump over that thing, and let's get in here. It's fighting through a bunch of different keys, I guess. Why are there so many keys? There's- we've gone through three fucking doors. Oh god, look at this alien's shit. Oh, there's the door! Oh god! Ready for a fight, you guys? It's not gonna end well for us! Of course. They even give you the option. Nothing here. They must have escaped. Hey look, there's an item up there. It appears it can move outside through these sewage drains. Rico is such a goddamn hothead for no reason. What is this? It's a bell! That's a good question. But, we can use this. Yep, there you go, Rico. Good job. Way to parrot me! It's not me saying what I know is gonna be said because I played this game for 20 years. God. Oh, come on. Shit. You always gotta watch for the for the shadow when you do these. But should be good. And we got an ether veiler, which is good. Alright, so now we gotta figure out where Oh. Now we gotta have a fight, and then we gotta figure out where there is a thing without a thing. Yes, I know, I'm being very vague. You gotta find one of those slime pots without a murder thing next to it. And we did that already. I just don't remember where it is. So, we'll explore around for another probably five minutes total. And then do our thing. His attacks are so fast at least, so you get, out, get to the next guys really quick. We got this. God, you are you do no damage, Doc. This is so atypical of what I'm used to with him, too. Slime in the drain. There should be several places like this. So that that was a bad translation, but basically we have to go to the one that he comes, or goes in and out of. Which I think is at the top of the map here. Whatever. So I'm gonna head there first to look. Cross from Gramps and then just straight up. Hopefully. Hope, yep. Hopefully I got this right. Uh, this looks like it, so let's really quickly make sure we're all healed up here. Of course we have to heal Rico, Faye's fine, Ether points are fine. I should save this. 
But I'm an idiot. Where is Faye? I glitched him out. Look at this. He's supposed to be right in front of Rico. How did I manage to do this? I fucking ruined the game. This means we'll never see Faye again. No, I'm kidding. That's not true. But, wow, I've never seen or done that before. So that's actually kind of cool to me. That I managed to, uh, you know. Oh, God! It's coming from everywhere. So this is actually a real motherfucking fight. This is probably one of the first genuinely difficult fights. And it doesn't help that he starts with this shit. At least he confused Faye twice, so that's... that's useful. Alright, I believe that is a mental status effect. Hey, it was. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do... <clears throat> is buff my characters here. Um... Not necessarily the smartest thing to do considering the gimmick of this fight, but I want my guys, when they're able to attack, to be able to hit as hard as possible, so... Doc is most likely going to be on healing duty for the entirety of this fight. Alright. I should have put his attack up too, but that's fine. Hopefully I've overprepared and this goes very quickly. Oh wow, he just missed me and got hit for 112 damage. That was sick. So y'all got to see the counter attack. That's, you know, that's cool. And with everybody with their higher level death blows for this point in the game, uh, we should be doing very well uh, for ourselves. Jeez. Lots of, lots of damage. Like, goddamn, 600. Alright, fire damage. Blocks fire attacks. You know what, we'll use it on this guy here because, oh boy, does he take a lot of damage in general. Weak point is water. I don't expect to take any water damage from this guy. So I don't know if you noticed, but this guy's name is Red Rum, which is murder backwards. Um, I feel like you all probably knew that. I still think it's fun. I don't think it's a call back to, or I don't think it's a, a, a reference to, uh-oh. Is Faye confused again? No, he's poisoned, okay. That's not too bad. Oh, he's both! Shit! Alright, so we want to get rid of... that. Anyways, I don't think Red Rum in this instance is a reference to The Shining. It probably is totally a reference to The Shining. Also, look at this guy. I, I think this is a really badass looking enemy. Alright. We put the damage up on him. So, are you gonna be close to 600 like the other guy? Yeah, you are. He might actually go down very quickly. Considering how much damage we're able to actually do to him here. Between Faye and Rico. Ooh, and full damage. What you got for me, Rico? As much damage as a character seven levels higher than him. Badass. Usually I would have a character building up a combo to basically once that guy goes, that's the end of the fight. So here's the gimmick. He um, insta-kills people. So uh, there, there's the problem of this fight. Um, fucking nap fruit fly thing. Uh, there's the problem of this fight, and oh boy, can it be a problem. Oh, eh, that's fine. So Doc has a ton of hit points, man. Alright. This should actually be over fairly quickly. I'm surprised only one person got murdered. Kind of a 
strange way to put that. Surprised only one of my characters got hard murdered in the streets. This should have removed, yeah, it removed his buffs. I don't know if counter force only works once. Um, oh shit, not the dock. Here we go. Here's where the fucking fight begins. I'm not gonna use that Zeta Sol DX on this fight. It's interesting that Rico hasn't gone down. Normally this fight is like babysit Rico while also picking up your dead at or dead friends fight. But uh we're not experiencing that. Wow. So that was a hell of a fight. And you get fucking rewarded in experience, like seriously. I can't remember the last time we've had a boss fight on foot. I think the last one was Ramses and Bledovic. Alright, so we got some more some more levels on some more of our buoys. No defense for... Damn, that's fucking annoying. But hey, we beat the thing. And what's interesting is a story thing happens here based on the fight. Um, uh, which doesn't go the way that the fight went. Which I'll point out later. You'll see what I mean. That. So Doc knows something about this thing. Maybe not it, but he knows something about what that monster was. And we'll find out in probably episode 15 or 16. Eh, maybe 16 or 17. I'll wait at your derm. So, he got hurt here, apparently. Which is funny, because I think he got hit once or twice, and he never got murdered. <laughs> like Faye and Satan did. Faye and Satan got totally murdered. Alright. So that is the end of that, and now we have more weird floating in gradient shit. So something, someone has awoken three times, and we don't know what it's talking about. So who's this weird skull bro, and why the fuck is Satan talking to him, and why is he floating in painting space? I don't understand it. It doesn't make any damn sense to me. What's with this weird noise? I don't think they ever explain where this is or what this is. Also. It's just like some extra dimension or something. I don't know. Your Majesty. So, Satan's clearly on the take with whatever the fuck this is. Their judgment has been handed down. We don't even know what the fuck this is, and there's just all these crazy religious... Tones. Also, a purge. Something's. Hey! It's our friend Ely! And also, something, something, purge. The Hecht! There's way emphasizing the CH on that too much. So those guys called for a purge, and now we're gonna, or these guys are gonna be escorting something. So clearly those other guys, 
Everything is Solaris up to this point, yeah? I mean, that's pretty... What's the word I'm looking for? That's pretty straightforward. Those floating television people and the guy that Satan just said, Your Majesty, it's clearly all Solaris at this point. And if it's not clear to you, I'm sorry, I hope I didn't really spoil anything. Also, I don't know what they're saying in this song, but for me, for 15 years, it has sounded like they are saying, Total sexual fun with a gas can. That's probably wrong, but that's what I hear, and I can never unhear it. So, total sexual fun with a gas can. Total sexual fun with a gas can. What kind of sexual fun can you have with a gas can? Oh, no. Probably the type we really don't want to fucking know about it. So these motherfuckers actually act like they respect her now. And they're not even being told what what is actually happening. Damn, Ellie's gonna beat the shit out of that little bastard. Fucking misogynist. Oh, I can control the camera here. Look. Whee! Okay, that's enough. Also, I swear, some of these characters are drawn differently. Rank specifically looks like he was drawn by, like, a guest artist with the way he looks. Because there's no other character in the game that's drawn in the same style that he is. Rank. Rank is his name, yeah. See, like, that looks fairly close... I feel like these guys are all drawn by guest artists. They're, uh, they're little portraits. Cause like, look at that. That looks like some Gundam shit from the 70s. It's clearly a different art style from... from Ellie and the rest of the main cast, for sure. So, now we get a little background on... Uh, the way people are handled in Solaris. That these people are considered third-class citizens. But Ellie is a first-class citizen. And we learn a lot more about that later. Yeah, that is a different freaking art style. They might all be. He looks almost like he's a different art style. He looks like he's the same... Art style is the other guy. I like how they have... You can tell they're advanced because there's pipes and there's vending machines. And Ellie's just like, I'm only going to follow the orders exactly as I'm given them and I'm not going to do anything else for mission accomplishment. Which... She does not deserve to be a fucking lieutenant if that is her attitude. No officer acts like that. Anyway, so we learned about that. Some bad shit going down. Hey, kiddos! Occasionally a train comes through here. So I put a coin here as a test. This is dangerous. Do not try this at home. <laughs> I love that we get the, uh, the, whatchamacallit. It's a pupper! I won't stop barking at me. What's up with the pupper? Talk to me. Don't go near that dog. He'll bark a lot and I can't stand it. Wanna buy some dog food? Hell yeah! But if you have the dog food, why sell it to me? Yeah, this is dumb. Give him the dog food. Now he's shut up. You don't get anything for that. It's just a dog house. All right, so now it's time to fall the fuck asleep. Oh, hey, Rico's here. What's up, homie? Well, fuck you. I had to watch this other cutscene. So 
So the doc buried the monster. The murders were brought to an end. And Faye has been proved innocent. Yay! We solved the problem. And now we can go back in the sewers. Now he gets all grumpy with us. My cat is slapping my foot with his tail. Yes, I see that you're not looking at me, but also just waiting for and demanding attention by even existing here, you little turd cat. He's not even a cat. He's completely declawed, which is illegal here where we are, but where we adopted him in Illinois, it was not illegal. He's completely declawed. He doesn't hunt anything. He just sits around and cuddles all goddamn day. He's a fucking living, breathing, shitting, throw-upping teddy bear. And that's fine. I like him. But, like, fuck you. You can get no high and mighty attitude. You're a ten-pound thing in my house that I pay money to feed. As he rolls around happily on the ground. Fuck you, you little shit cat. Hey. I'm flipping you off. You see, he just rubbed his face all over my middle finger. Fuck you, you piece of shit cat. Oh, oh, you're adorable though. Go play with your old catnip toy. Go fight it. Go on. Go on, get out of here. Go on. Nope, he's just sitting here staring at me. Ugh. Oh. Alright, now back to the grind. I guess so. We don't have much time. Actually, I don't know if we don't have much time. We don't know what the shit's going on outside of Nortune right now. As far as we know, Kislev's won the war. I mean, obviously that's not the case, but as far as we know... Hi, kitty. Wow. Kitty. Good kitty. Alright. Take a quick sleep, save the game, and then go do a little more battling. Also, you get the super extra special rest sound because you have the a rank A bed. I don't know if I've slept in the... Um, I don't know if I've slept in the LP yet, but normally the little sleeping jingle you get is not nearly as... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not nearly as... loud, I guess, as that one. I guess we're saving here. Alright, let's go do some more gear battling. One thing I kind of don't like about this section is you do the gear fights and then you don't get the chance to do it again for a long, for like almost the rest of the game. Like it's not till the very end of the game that you get to do more battling. Alright, so this is the semi-finals. Yeah! Have to win three matches to qualify. Yes, I'll give it a try. Let's do it. Let's make a fighting. Barry! Fuck you! Little idiot cat, I'm punching you lovingly! Yes! Take my fist of power! Power fist! Into your face and stomach! Good kitty. Put up with my crap for... God. How long you put up with my crap for, cat? Like eight, nine years now? I should probably pay attention to what I'm doing. There, there's a good, a good combo there. That guy has a ton of range. The good news is he's making it easy. Hey, very easy. I like that. That works for me. You fucking dead mate! I fucking killed ya! Wow, he, uh... Good on you. You suck, bro. Goodbye. Oh shit, I don't want to be in the desert. I'll be over here. Ah! I hurt myself. Yeah, you can't hurt me in this water. 
there's a good hit. Gotta really let my uh, stuff run down. Woo! I got out of that just in time. Yeah! Basically, if you keep moving laterally while you're in the water like this, you can't get hit. Come on! Come on! I'm all the way over here. Pulling this camera out so crappily. Come on, get over here. Damn. He took that and just kind of... Like he didn't get hit with the stun lock. That was weird. Whatever. We win. Yeah. So I think, yeah, the semifinals are best two out of three like the other matches. The final round, the finals are three out of five. So yeah, I beat the ever-living shit out of that guy. I did a, I did a good job. I did a good fighting. I'm making a, a fairly good amount, of, a fairly good amount of money here. Obviously, not as good as, um, you know, just regular grinding. Oh nope, I want to enter. Obviously, not as good as regular grinding, um, especially in certain areas where enemies just drop an absolute fuck ton of, uh, of, uh, g gold, whatever. But uh, still, a fair amount for doing a fun little mini game. It is so baffling to me that they threw this in the game and you almost have the, the opportunity after this section to never do it again. This is part of what makes this little section one of my favorite parts in the game. Alright, fire wheel is some real shit here. Part ah, shit. Partly because fire wheel moves... Ah, oh, fuck me! Partly because he's being an asshole with his ether shots here, but also he moves at a run 100% of the time. Without having to expend... Also, you can't fucking find his body. Fuck this. Yeah, you're dead, asshole. All right, I gotta do better in this final... final bout here. Can't even see what you're doing to him. God. Yeah, I stunlocked him out of firing his own ether shot. I'm the best. Be at Evo 20. Oh god, I hurt myself. Do you see how much damage I took from over, uh, overusing or overheating myself? So that sucks. Oh! In the last fight, I gotta remember to show off the. 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 the win animation. All the. all the gears have special win animations. So, so, so far, we've done pretty good in this. I mean, I haven't lost a match except for the rigged one. Um, and I think half of my matches have been, like, overwhelming victories. It becomes important to get overwhelming victories later on. And by the end of the game, you end up with uh, gears that, like, give you the opportunity to get very easy overwhelming victories. Um... <clears throat> but that's still good though, because that's how you get the. That's how you get uh, some really good items. Look at this thing. It's just the cop from Terminator 2. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah. Yeah, come on, fight me. Come on. Come on, chase me. I don't like you. Yep, I don't like you. Come on. Come on, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. Oh, I hit the wrong damn button. 
You can burn through almost all of your health immediately. Come on! Sh shit, all of it. I'm wasting all this time. It's Naruto running! Oh shit! Here you go, look at this. Ah! I am lightning! I am Raiden! Yeah. You're making it easy this time. What's the difference? What happened to you? It went from hurting myself mostly to perfecting your ass. Yeah. That's all it takes. I like that they changed it around so much and gave all the all the well almost all of the things ether shots or guns and there's there's like a good amount of variation between all the gears that you can play as later. You can even play as some monsters too. Um, but like every almost everybody's got an ether shot, so everybody's kind of on a level playing field. Even even like some of the god tier bosses and stuff you fight later on at the end of the game versus like what we have right now. It's really interesting. Oh, he keeps coming over here. He thinks I'm talking to him. No, kitty, I'm not talking to you. Hey, look at this. We got into the finals. We're going to be fighting Rico. I wonder how that's going to go. Ah. Delicious water. You know, now that more of this game is coming back to me, I think I was wrong about that baptism ceremony. I think you wouldn't have gotten a second chance if you'd lost at any point. Because I think it's the finals where you get a second chance. Like one second chance. So we did it! We're in the finals! We did a good fighting! It only took us, what, two episodes? To get from, mm, to get from not, mm, excuse me, from not even being registered to have won the whole thing. Good pacing. We've done a lot of stuff, and I like that it's completely detached, for the most part, from everything else we've done up to this point in the game. Like the game started off with our gear Veltal being stolen from Kislev, and it took. God, like 11, 10 or 11 hours or episodes to get back to Kislev getting their gear back. Or having any input on the story whatsoever. I, I also like, and I think it's really cool and unique, that they introduced this part of the world and the story. Um... separate from everything else. I think that's really cool because you're not worried about your nothing you're doing here has anything to do with Shikan or Phase Pass or anything. It's literally you're in prison. Get the fuck out. How do you get out? Battle! Ugh. Okay, well that's gonna do it for this episode today. Thanks everybody who's uh, still sticking with the LP here. I appreciate you. I love you platonically. There we go. Battling Janet. God damn it. It's so sensitive. Anyways, I love that you're here. Thank you so much. If you liked it and you're not subscribed, you should. And you should check out the rest of the episodes and the other stuff we have. Oh, no, I don't need to do this. If you are subscribed, um, it would be very helpful um, if you were to share this with people you know who may be interested in this. I would definitely appreciate that, because the more people that get to see this, maybe we can start a discussion, more people can enjoy it, hell, more people can learn about Xenogears. Anyways, once again, thanks for coming up, thanks for coming out, you guys, I will see you next time.